from the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, the United Nations Financial Agency is earning New Zealand to make significant reforms to meet its climate goals. The International Monetary Fund's latest annual report on our economy finds the emissions trading scheme has helped to limit pollution. But it warns more incentives are needed to cut greenhouse gases. Green Party co-leader Chloe Swarbrick says the country cannot kick the can down the road any longer. We can't simply rely uh, on the emissions trading scheme, which this government seems to be. We need to reduce emissions, and that's the fundamental importance of the emissions reduction plan as well, which this government needs to be held account on. Ukraine's military intelligence has called the deadly Crocus City Hall shooting in Moscow a deliberate provocation by Vladimir Putin's special services. At least 60 people were killed and more than 140 injured after a shooting prior to a rock concert. Terrorist group ISIS has claimed responsibility after Ukrainian officials denied they were responsible. Ukraine's army is suggesting Russia would pin the blame on them to bolster support for the war and so Putin can announce a mobilization of more soldiers. Belief Christchurch's event industry is back on track. It's a massive weekend for Christchurch as Sale GP returns to Littleton following the Warriors' sold-out game last night. The events translate to some $4 million in revenue for Christchurch. Venues Otohahi Chief Executive Caroline Harvey Tiare says it's a sign of what's to come. She says there's confidence for the future ahead of Takaha Stadium opening in 2026. New Zealand's largest cultural festival, Polyfest, is enjoying what could be a record turnout. The festival is celebrating its 49th year, as well as more schools involved than last year. Director Seu Iliteri Leo Mau says they don't have a specific number yet, but they are pleased with the turnout. Last year we had about 70,000 people that came to that festival. So we're probably expecting a similar number or a bit more. We do actually have more groups than last year. That's news. In sport, the 2024 edition of Sale GP in Littleton has been called off for the day. Dolphins grouping around the start line initially delayed the start of racing, but an independent official has made the final call on whether the action could recommence in consultation with the Department of Conservation, local iwi and organisers. But moments ago, the event today was called off. A big day in Super Rugby has begun with a thriller in Latoka. The Fijian Drua have beaten the Waratahs 39-36 in Golden Point Extra Time. The Chiefs are hosting the Highlanders in Hamilton in another Super Rugby Pacific game. And the Blues women are doing likewise with Opiki winless champs Matatu. Later at Eden Park, it is the Crusaders up against the Blues. That starts at five past seven. That's sport. I'm Joe Gilfillan. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.